Hola chicos, hemos decidido hoy hacer ejercicios al aire libre y les vamos a enseñar cinco ejercicios que se pueden hacer otra vez como les repito al aire libre y para eso he traído a mi amigo Seth que es entrenador Hola. de los dos gimnasios más importantes de acá de Los Ángeles que uno es uh, Mansion Fitness y el otro es Barry's Bootcamp así que vamos a aprender un poquito con algunos tips que él nos va a dar Seth, what are we doing today? So today we're going to do five exercises. Three okay. cardios. Yeah, we're going to do three cardios and two uh, weight uh, strength training exercises. So the first one's going to be a strength training exercise. It's going to be a partner push-up. We may involve a little bit of cardio into that. Mm -hmm. The second one is going to be a wall hold with high knees. So it's going to be a wall, a wall sit while your partner does high knees. The third one is going to be wall climbers, like mountain climbers, but with a twist. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is going to be a partner um, bent over row. So you're actually going to use your partner as a bar. And then the last one is going to be a split squat with an elevated... For those squats. Yeah, for your booty. This one is going to be a split squat using your partner as a human TRX. All right, so just said you're going to come down, meet me in a plank position, okay? We're going to be just about one head's width apart, okay? So we're going to go into a push-up all the way down, and then right hand taps each other. There you go. So you're just high-fiving your partner. All the way down. I think what you want to try to avoid is like the less you can like go like this, right? Yeah, I know yeah. it's hard sometimes if you're just a beginner and then I think like if you don't have like much of the first you can kind of like lean. For sure. But you know. first you like, like all right, all right. She's calling me out. That's pretty much what's happening. So is let's it? Is let's it? go down. And then <laughs> I'm not, it's nice and easy. But no, there it is go. hard. That makes it even harder. Yeah, but you're I'm using saying, more core stability for sure. <laughs> you feel that, that right? Keep going, two more, two more, two more, two more, one more. <laughs> you yeah. see, I just tilt. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, that is what you want to try to avoid, the tilt. But, you know, if you're just getting into it. I, I like always, like, when I uh, share exercises with them, because sometimes they say, oh, I tilt too much. I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. But you kind of want to, like, towards work that, right? For sure. Should we show them a, a, a more advanced? More of, okay, what's the only We can do a more down. <laughs> and we're gonna do a plyometric push up. Ready? What? Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> so Thank that's you, the <laughs> So now we're gonna do the modification. You can always drop to your knees and do this, okay? Let's try this. All the way down. Nice and easy. Good. Yeah, just like that. So you have a couple options right there. And people want to know, like, what do you work on on planks? Abdominal muscles, your transverse abdominals, your obliques, and then um, also your deep internal obliques too. So it's okay. external and internal obliques. And then really just all of your core. You even use your lower back a little bit. You don't want to be using it that much, but everything in this area is getting worked when you do a plank. And then push-ups, obviously, that's going to be all chest and shoulders. Okay, so let's go to it. Oh, the sets. How, how, how many should we do? I would say 10 is a good number to start at. I mean, for the more advanced five, ones. Five, five? Yeah, five and five. Mm -hmm. And then for that more advanced ones, see how you feel. I would say three sets. Three sets of yeah. 10. Yeah. So the next exercise is? It's going to be a wall hold with high knees. So okay. one person it's holding like, like to the wall, and this way you're working your cord and? Hamstrings and hamstring. quads. Yeah. So the both of you are working out with just different exercises and then you switch, right? I mean, it, like the other person, he's going to put his palms here. It's going to... How do you say Yeah, it? explosive movements. And, uh, uh -huh. Drive your knees all the way up. Let's go for 30 seconds. For 30 seconds. Okay, okay so when you're ready, three, two, and let's do it. Ah, come on. There we go. Keep going, baby. <laughs> 10 seconds. Fifteen seconds. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, keep it going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. How'd that feel? Now it's my turn. All right, let's see if my cardio endurance is better than Josetti's. Of course it's better. Who knows? Let's find out. All right, I'm gonna time myself now. Ready? 
going to wait until she's nice and comfy. 90 degrees. Really comfy, 90 yeah. degrees. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, don't, don't like go down. Yeah, and like don't go like too far up too because that's going to hit your quads you too much. You want to activate. Yeah, and right. Breathe. 20 seconds. Yes. 15 seconds left. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, yes, 5, okay. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo. So, awesome. Uh, really, really good cardio right there. Oh if you do that back and forth, 30 seconds each, three times, oh man, you'll be feeling that. Yeah, you're going to feel it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And try. <laughs> Third exercise. What did you um, okay, so what we're going to be doing right now are called wall climbers. You guys know what mountain climbers are on the ground. This one's going to use a little bit more core and shoulder stability because your feet are actually going to be on a wall and we're going to be driving like we're sprinting. Okay, so let's take it down into a high plank right here. Good, get a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Good, and depending on how low you go, that's going to be how difficult this exercise is. And now we're just going to bring in one knee at a time. So. Use your abs, use your legs, and especially those shoulders. Good. Let's go for about 30 seconds right here. So where are you feeling it, Josetti? I am totally feeling it. <laughs> like I noticed, like if I go, like you said. A little like, lower? Lower. Yep. Like this, it does feel definitely like more, like core. More lower abs, right? Yes. Good. Let's go for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, fast as you can. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and uh, uh, All right, wall climbers for you right there. 30 seconds, three times. I would say so, yeah. Number four. Okay, so what this is is a partner bent over row. So maybe you guys do bent over rows at the gym with a bar. So you're essentially gonna be using your partner as the bar. So um, we're gonna do, let's do the modified version first. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you know, if you're, you don't have as much upper back strength. So I'm gonna go down. Josetti's gonna come right on top of me. <laughs> and she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna grab my arms. So I'm just gonna hinge from my hips and she's gonna pull me all the way up. And now where are you engaging? I, in my back. In your back, all your back? Yeah. Abs too? Yeah. Well, Good. And you're feeling this? Yes, I am. Uh, I feel like if I go a little more like um, straight, then I'm like yeah. going like, like go. landing them here. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure you're targeting right between your rhomboids. Those are the muscles between your shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. And then also your lats. Those are the muscles that I'm actually engaging at the same time that she's engaging. Mm -hmm. So those are on the side of your body. And how many reps? I would say maybe up to 15. I think we're around maybe 10. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Okay. <laughs> Three more. Bus mass. I feel it in my quads too now that I'm here. Yeah, there you go. That means that you're bracing. Good. Yes, I feel it all in my quads. Nice. So now I'm going to show you the more advanced version. This is if you have a little bit more strength in your back. If your partner's a little bit lighter, just like my partner. Mm -hmm. I said lighter, not weaker. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so cross your arms. She's going to stay flat this time. And I'm just going to pull her straight up, no hinge in the hips, okay? So all the way up. And then this way, she actually has to use her abs a lot more. You feel this? Yes, I have to. Just to keep straight. Good. I'm using my biceps, my back, my abs, and even my quads. I feel it too there. Let's go for five more, okay? Yes. Yeah. I feel Good. that I can work too. Yeah, for sure. You have to stay really stable if you're the partner that's being pulled up. Because I'm pulling her weight and you want to keep it nice and steady. Let's do one more. And just for fun, I'm gonna hold it up, do a little pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Don't Good. grab me like a regular no, weight. No, 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 no. <laughs> of course not. Yay. And that really, really hits your rhomboids, your biceps, your abs, and the lat muscles right there. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Numero cinco. La ultima. La ultima. Sí. Okay, so. So what we're going to do is a partner split squat. So sometimes you see people using TRXs or suspension devices to get kind of more of a stretch on their back leg. You're just going to be doing this with your partner. 
So one of the partners is going to turn away, take a big step forward, and then bring one of the feet up into your, the other partner's hands. So Joe said he pressed down into my hands and come back a little bit more and then all the way up. Good. So she's using a lot of balance and control. She's making it look easy, but it's not easy. <laughs> and she's bringing it all the way down using her glutes, her quads. So every time you come up, Joe said, I want you to actually flex your left nalga. My left nalga. Yeah. Oh, there I we feel go. It. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. So that way you're going to be engaging the left glute and also working the right quad and right hamstring for stability. Go for three more. Two more. And if this is hard, nice. There isn't like any modification. There is a modification. Uh -huh. Actually, sometimes just keeping your foot up in the air is too much. Um, so let's just do a split squat. Face your partner and bring opposite foot to opposite foot. Okay. Hands together and now lean back a little bit. Good. And now come all the way down. Still the same thing. Flexing into that back cheek. You're going to feel it a lot, but it's going to be a lot easier if you have balance issues or if you can't do that other version. And still, you would do a few more, a few more reps. Uh -huh. I'd say higher reps on this side. Um, that way, you can get a little more burn, but you're still gonna feel it, so right? So yeah, you do 15 each leg. Yeah, keep pulling back. There you go. Mm -hmm. And that way, you can Thank even. You. Oh yeah, I feel it. Mm -hmm. I want your abs. <laughs> <laughs> do everything. Okay, yeah. Awesome. All of it. And then that's it. And you have some things in Spanish to say. Oh yeah. Okay. Si ustedes practican tus ejercicios. Yo puedo practicar mi español. Y ejercicio es como lenguaje, ¿sí? Es como idioma. You have to practice. You have to, tú necesito practicar. Uh, don't forget to comment below this video for any um, exercises that you want, any concerns, anything you need to know. We'll be answering them in the next video. Yeah. Thank you. Gracias. Bye.